I feel so lucky to live in a place where I can experience fall every year. Whenever Brad and I talk about moving further south, a little part of me is sad to know that I will be leaving this behind. Every day, I find something new that I love about this season, and I cherish each small, seemingly menial thing that it has to offer. The crisp leaves crunching under your feet, a rainy day, the hit of fresh air to the face when you walk outside for the first time. It's like life has a golden hour filter on everything, and when it is actual golden hour, the treetops seem to be bathed in a molten gold lava. Those are just some of my favorites, but the one thing that stands out above the rest is the food. A home-cooked meal at my parents' house, hot udon, baked potatoes, and curry rice to name a few. And above all, I love sharing these meals with friends and family. There is something so sacred about gathering around a table and just enjoying a meal together. To me, it's next level comfort that helps recharge my batteries. We eat and drink and talk about whatever comes to mind. And there are times when we have deep conversations about life and the universe, or lighthearted banter about what our favorite TV shows are that month. Whatever the case, it's typically around some food and a nice big table to share it on. What are your favorite seasonal foods and flavors? Let me know in the comments. Now. Grab a cup of coffee and a blanket, get super duper cozy in a hoodie, and join me on a couple mini adventures to some tasty fall treats. It's a video. <laughs> He's, I told him to sit up straight. Oh yeah. I look forward to going to the Maryland Renaissance Festival every year. They open at the end of August and close at the end of October. They typically sell out quickly, so make sure you get your tickets online before you head there. We usually beeline it straight for the food. That is definitely what we did this time. My absolute favorite thing to get there, besides snake bites, are the baked potatoes. There is hardly ever a line and it's always delicious. It's so good. <laughs> I have my sandwiches here. There are a lot of different options to eat there, so if you have any kind of food allergy, if you're gluten-free, if you're vegan, I'm pretty sure that they have something there for you. <laughs> it is so crowded in here. I got cat ears. Jim has a slushy. Now we're looking for some beer. Oh, oh. Dark thing? I'm pretty sure they sold I want, out. I want a Stein doing the dark Tickets thing. Tickets to get in. What are you doing? The dark thing. Brad's gonna do the dark thing? Maybe. I guess. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Let me see my own time. Yum. Beer. Beer. Getting beer. <laughs> Not only do they have a ton of food and drinks to choose from, there's so much more to experience within the medieval style village that's built in the woods. There are small shops that sell things from handcrafted mugs and bowls to garments that you can wear during the festival and be a part of the fun. On the map that you can get from the information kiosk when you walk in, they have a schedule of times for performances around the village. There are also games that you can play to win small prizes. Brad tried his hand at darts, but you know what they say about those carnival type games. Close, not close enough. Walking around. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know where we're going. There's like lots of shows going on. A lot of your time is spent walking around, enjoying the artisan crafts and fair, and enjoying some grade A people watching to your next meal. 
This is a cheesecake on a stick. Your eyes look so blue. <laughs> it's perfect lighting. It is. This is so good. Hour three. So tired. Mm. We're sitting in a crab chair. <laughs> Crab chair don't care. <laughs> I think we're gonna go to Uma Uma and get some ramen for our souls to warm our souls because Heather's hands are freezing. <laughs> Frigid. <laughs> They're so cold. Let's go get some soup. Soup a loop. Oh. You like my cow ears? <laughs> They're cow ears. Oh, gonna get run over. Gonna get run over. I accidentally had my, uh, I had my thing on, my, uh, what's it called? Shashu show you. Trying to hold. <laughs> hold <or not. laughs> I will get this. Nailing it. Overall, it was a fantastic day with good food and good company, and I am so excited to go again next year. I'm feeling very antisocial today. It's probably because I'm hungry. Anyways, I have somebody with me on this special adventure. We're currently in the Lotte Mart parking lot and we are just about to get mm. some food. Yep. Yep, my silent partner. We're going to get some food. I'm going to get my favorite soup and curry and Brad's probably going to get sushi. Shushi. Shushi. The H Mart's over there, and he'd rather be over there. I would. But they have the best Japanese curry. So. Sorry. We can still go to H Mart. Yeah. But this is one of my favorite things about fall is eating delicious Japanese food with people I love. So that's what we're doing. And as you guessed it, I'm not bringing this camera in because I feel really weird with this camera because it's big and it's public space. All right, let's go. Lottie. Lottie. Lottie Market. No, it's Lotte. Lotte Plaza Market. Coming for you. Wishing he was at H Mart instead. But yeah, this is the place. This is it. This is like a grocery store, but it's like a little market inside the grocery store. How fun is that? That's the place that I always eat at. It has the best curry and udon combo. Coming here always makes me think of my family. Normally when we have relatives come from Japan to visit, this is the first place we stop to get groceries and something to eat. Cute. 
cute. A little store you can go to. <laughs> After we eat, we did a little bit of shopping. There were just a couple of things I wanted to try and pick up to take home. So we decided not to go to H Mart today. I'm just not feeling it. So we got some stuff for blood day. I didn't find my spicy rice cakes that I like, but that's okay. We still got some ramyun and I got some kimbap. Branching out into Korean territory, but it's so good. I think we're gonna try to go to this bridge that I always pass on my way to work and maybe get some photos. Oh, that's a pretty car. And maybe get some photos. Okay, bye. I hope you enjoyed coming on these mini adventures with me and I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're able to find a similar bliss in your seasons. Like if you would like for me to continue making these videos and comment down below with your favorite seasonal food. Until next time. Update, these are the shit. They're so good. There's like egg and carrots and I don't know what that is, bamboo shoots maybe? Green onions and pickled radish. So good. And I'm eating it with, we're eating ramyun and I have a little soft boiled leg and kimchi. So good.